What is up, my friends? Well, 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 Kalu Kale, it is new handlebar day. Riding over to my dad's house in a balmy fucking 60 degree morning uh, to, uh, actually, it's fucking chilly. It's, it's really fucking cold. Um, I, I don't know why it says, it says it's like 60 degrees, I swear, but that is lies and trickery. Yeah, oh no, it says it's 54. Okay, it said 60 degrees in my garage, but <laughs> that's probably because it's fucking cold. Uh, so, uh, yeah, it's, it's fucking cold. Um, and, uh, yeah, we got uh, we got some new reduced reach bars from Indian. I've actually wanted these bars since I bought this bike, but they were not available. Um, I literally was checking the website, like, every two or three days for months. Um, they have finally... Uh, they were finally in stock, and I grabbed a set for me, and my dad grabbed a set for him. Uh, and, uh, I, you know, I don't think my arms are that much shorter than the average person's, but I am kind of a stocky person. I'm, you know, I'm like 5'8", five, 5'9", five, and I, I uh, uh, you know, have, you know, I'm a wide, I'm a wide boy. Um, and, uh, yeah, my arms aren't super long. You know, a lot of bikes I find myself reaching. I don't, actually have never owned a bike that I didn't change the handlebars or the risers on. Um, you know, I've pretty much always done everything I can to bring bars back toward me. Uh, so I knew I wanted these reduced reach ones. I actually had ridden a demo bike uh, a few years ago that had the reduced reach bars already installed. And they were, uh, I like them a lot. So I, I've been wanting them very badly. Um, okay, what the fuck is this idiot doing? Okay. He doesn't know where he's going. So, uh, yeah, I've wanted them for a while. We, uh, originally, when I, you know, was, uh, looking to do this i thought this was going to take like five six hours i but most of the the indian uh instructions and a lot of the tutorials i found on youtube all indicated that you had to uh remove the gas tank completely and the front fairing skin uh in order to do, change the bars uh then i found a tutorial online from rst uh who makes or rsv rsv uh that makes uh, uh apes for this bike and they showed a tutorial where they just unbolted the tank, scooched it back, uh, unbolted, undid the uh, wiring through the headlight, and uh, swap the bars easy as you please. They, they use a real big extension to get to the bottom of the bars. Uh, we actually did it yesterday on my dad's, and it worked. Uh, it is a little more pain in the ass than they show in the video. Uh, he makes it look real, real easy to get to the bottom bolts. It's a bit of a struggle, but uh, it's very doable. Uh, we It took us probably, I mean, it was the first, you know, we, we had never done it before. Uh, it took us probably about three hours to, to do the whole thing. Uh, so we're I'm riding over this morning to my dad's to do mine. Uh, hopefully it's another three hours and then we can get some riding in today, although it's fucking cold. Hopefully it warms up. I think the high today is like 65 or something, which is funny because welcome to Florida winters. Uh, you know, it is it is the middle of March right now. Uh, it, it is going to probably be 80 degrees tomorrow, but it's fucking 55 today. So, uh, yeah, I gotta love that shit. But, uh, yeah, I will... Uh, uh, update maybe as we do it I don't know I don't normally feel myself working on bikes even though I probably should uh, because I am far more distracted actually doing the work but I'll take some pictures and uh, definitely we'll post the results on the way home fam what's up I have successfully installed the handlebars um, I did take some pictures I did not film any of it uh, it actually went a lot faster than I thought it would uh, I, I uh, as I said before, I followed the KST tutorial. Um, I think I said RSV earlier or something like that, but it's KST that did it. Um, and uh, they, uh, you know, it actually, uh, their, their tutorial pretty much worked. Um, you know, was able to snake a, a ratchet with a long extension up and, and loosen the bottom bolts of the uh, steering bracket. Uh, you know, slid the, uh, unbolted the tank and slid it back, slid the bars out from under the, the stereo. Uh, in the space that the tank moving back cleared. Um, unhooked everything through the headlight, so just dropped the headlight down, unhooked everything. Uh, hooked all that back up, no problem. Um,
super duper happy with the positioning. I don't, I don't know if you can really, how much it tells on camera, but uh, the, the, the rise of the bars is about two inches taller than the other one. Um, and uh, as a result, it flares out a little more too. Um, the, the only negative I would say is I do feel like I'm getting slightly more wind on my hands, which in Florida isn't the end of the world, but one of the things I really did used to like about this bike was the fact that you could wear relatively light gloves um, when it was cold outside and uh, you know your hands still felt pretty warm. I have sensitive hands because I actually uh, uh, got burned uh, about 10 years ago um, and it's all healed up, everything works, but uh, I got a lot of scar tissue. My hands are basically just entirely scar tissue and grafts. Uh, my entire right arm is all grafts. If you actually look at some of my videos, you can, you can probably see uh, you know, my forearm is a different color than the rest of my <laughs> body, but um, yeah, I, I, uh, my hands get cold really, really, really easily. Um, and when they get cold, they hurt. Um, so I, I, I try not to uh, uh, get cold hands if I can help it, um, which is why you'll almost never see me riding without gloves on. Um, but uh, on a cold day, you know, I, I wear thick gloves, but I, I like the amount of blocking that the fairing provides. So, you know, I will have to see, uh, you know, if I, if I ride on a truly cold day, if I notice that um, much, you know, as of right now, it's, it's a minor thing. They do make little better flares that you can get for the size of the fairing for people that get, you know, bigger bars. Uh, so I may look into those at some point, but the riding position massively improved. Um, the bars are further back, they're higher up. Um, they, uh, you know, the bike, I always feel, now I'm not a big fan of ape hangers. I absolutely hate ape hangers actually. Uh, it may be a hot take, that may be a controversial opinion, but I, I despise ape hangers. Um, I think they're uncomfortable and I think they, you know, make the bike handle like garbage. Uh, you know, it's always been my understanding, you know, the wider your handlebars, the further back your handlebars, the more control you actually have over the front wheel because I mean, think of a lever, right? Short, short levers. Uh, you know, have less leverage than long levers. So when you have longer handlebars that are further away, uh, smaller changes to the bars make bigger changes on the front wheel. Uh, so I've always felt like a big bike handles better with wider handlebars. Um, so to me, uh, I, I was expecting this to, you know, if it had any impact on handling to improve it, and I was correct. Um, it, you know, this bike already handles fucking phenomenally for a, you know, close to 900 pound bike. Uh, but now, yeah, it feels even more planted even more stable, uh, especially like at low speed, like doing shit like this. Like, yeah, it, it, I feel like I have a ton of control over this bike. Um, and I can sit, you know, I've got a Corbin seat, which puts you a little bit further back than stock. And, um, you know, I can sit with my back against my backrest, you know, very, very slight bend in the elbows. Um, and like, you know, if I sit up, you know, I do have a bend in my elbows. Um, where before I constantly felt like I was hunched over riding this bike. Uh, now I actually feel like, you know, I'm in a comfortable riding position. Um, I've got a messed up back and bad shoulders. So uh, yeah, definitely, definitely looking forward to taking some long days on, on the bike in this configuration. You know, put my feet up in the highway pegs. And uh, yeah, man, I think this could be real cool. And uh, again, these are the Indian reduced reach bars. Um, I know uh, some people are asking when I posted pictures, you know, there's a couple other companies that make bars. Most of the bars I've seen from like KST and other brands uh, were big, like I said, were like apes. And I'm just, I'm not a fan. Uh, so I, I, you know, I, this is exactly what I wanted. Stock bar shape, just a little further back. Um, everything clears, you know, I basically just lifted them as high as they would go. And uh, yeah, man, super duper happy. Um, again, I, I didn't post um, a how-to because there's plenty of, of how-to videos on how to do uh, these types, uh, the bars on, on, on challengers. Uh, I would just say follow it, the KST tutorial uh, and you'll be good. All right, guys.